ili humu nchini huku baadhi ya waathiriwa kisalia kimya kimya lakini hatua ya madaktari katika hospitali ya Gakan kumfanyia upasuaji mwanamume mmoja na kurekebisha tatizo hilo limeshabikiwa na wengi. Mwanahabari Mwenza Majibu Kitao amefanikiwa kumpata daktari Ahmed Yosef, mpasuaji mkuu aliyefanikisha shughuli hiyo na kutoa mwanga zaidi kuhusu upasuaji wenyewe na uzoefu wake kwenye fani hii. Ni taarifa iliyogonga vichwa vya habari baada ya upasuaji wa kwanza wa kupandikiza ume katika eneo la Afrika Mashariki na Kati kufanyika kwa mara ya kwanza nchini Kenya. Ni upasuaji wa aina yake upasuaji wa kwanza haswa kwa kufanyika katika nchi za Afrika Mashariki na Kati ni upasuaji wa kupandikiza ume ambao umefanyika hapa kwenye hospitali ya chuo kikuu cha Gakan. Na hapo safari ya kumtafuta Dr. Ahmed Yusuf mpasuaji mkuu aliyefanikisha zoezi hili ikangwa nanga. Ni jamaa mtulivu mcheshi na siti kuelezea safari yake katika fani hii kwa nilicho upasuaji huu kwa kwanza katika nchi za Afrika Mashariki na Kati kwake si jambo geni I did a lot of like this procedure before I did in Egypt in Germany and in other countries uh, so this is not the first time for me of course I have a, a, a big number of cases I did but this is the first case to be done here in Kenya ni zoezi linalochukua chini ya saa moja kukamilika na hapa daktari anaelezea manufaa yake. Advantage of the process is, is for the patient is to have unplanned sex. He can do sex anytime, any place, uh, 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 by any means he can do it. The other issue which is very important for the uh, erect, uh, implant surgery that the patient he can take a very long time in the sexual intercourse and also we can continue the sexual intercourse after ejaculation. Na ni nini haswa sababisha matatizo ya nguvu za kiume kulingana na Yosef ugonjwa wa kisukari ni moja wapo. There is a lot of reasons which can uh, uh, cause this disease and uh, most of them are common uh, are common causes uh, like uh, obesity for example, diabetes, hypertension, Uh, atherosclerosis uh, heart disease renal failure uremia uh, uh, there is uh, also patient who is receiving medicine for some diseases uh, also all this can cause for them an erectile dysfunction licha ya upasuaji wa kwanza kuweza kufanyika hapa hiki si kisa cha kwanza kuweza kuripotiwa kwa ni kulingana na dr ahmed yusuf wapo wengi ambao wanasubiri huduma hii Yes, we have a quite number of patients to erectile dysfunction and we are starting to uh, treat them accordingly because not all the cases of erectile dysfunction they need to go for direct for surgery. There is a different levels of treatment for such patient and accordingly we can follow them and then we can decide uh, which type of treatment is suitable for him. Daktari huyu aidha anaongeza kuwa licha utafiti kufanywa kujaribu kuleta suluhu ya kudumu kwa tatizo hili ni upasuaji huu wa kupandikiza ume ambao umethibitishwa kuzaa matunda. Maybe there is some other alternatives still under research like the uh, ESWL or the PRP injection in the penis for treatment of penile uh, 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 or erectile dysfunction but it is not standardized up till now and it is not uh, be one of the guidelines so now up till now to uh, 2022 the only treatment for long life for the severe degree of the venous leakage and arterial insufficiency for such patients is the uh, penile processes Tatizo la nguvu za kiume na uzazi kwa jumla ni chanzo cha mgogoro katika familia nyingi za Kiafrika na mara nyingi msongo wa mawazo kuathiriwa ila sasa kuna kila sababu ya kutabasamu kwa ni jogo atawika tena Majibu Kitsao TV47 Nairobi